But if India are going to qualify for the final, they've got to get 241 runs. And they'll have to do it very quickly indeed. Well, there's four with this one. And that'll have uh, given Tendulkar plenty of confidence. Brand is trying to pitch it short because he's seen Tendulkar come down the pitch in the previous over. But the Indian captain quickly transferring his weight onto the back foot. Not really moving onto the back foot, just leaning back. And just as well, because that would have been four more. The fine leg went round to backward square. Moved from the offside to the onside into mid-wicket. So, again, good captaincy from Campbell. That's four more. Brilliant. Well, this is the shot of a genius. He's making a heat streak look like an off spinner. Heat streak is uh, by no means slow. He's down the pitch, the young man, and hitting him between the covers. He's got away with that one. Doubt whether it'll go to the boundary. Halton giving chase. And they're coming back for the third run. And that was good cricket all the way through. The return was fair enough. They decided to go for the run. Magnificent shot. Absolutely dead straight back over the top. Well, there's not a lot I can say about that, but it was a good strike. Use of the feet, he's been trying to do that. Get away from it, get leg side. And hit it straight on the up. No ball, hammered away for four. This is a good over. You've got to say, it's exciting. You don't know what's coming next. I think he tried to bowl a slower ball there. Dragged it down, as well as actually overstepping the line for a no ball. And the slower ball just sat up. That's away, that's four. Incredible shot. Well, 61 for two. The 11th over was a good one. You know, that's what India need. They need to... Sashin's got to watch very carefully. They've got to keep cool. It's a hard chase. Well, nearly took Dravid's head off. He watched that one all right and picks up four runs. So Brand is coming back into the attack. He immediately concedes a four. Brand is trying to bowl a Yorker when he saw him get away, but it was a half volley and it was put away sweetly. High over the top. Got away with it, only just, not that much room for error. Oh, that is magnificent. Absolutely majestic. Oh, it cleared the sight screen. Wonderful, wonderful shot. Again, same thing, Sashin moving away to leg stump. Brandy's trying to follow him, not getting the ball full enough. He's trying to follow Sashin into his feet. But you see, he's finishing up on a decent length. If he's going to follow him, he's got to be right onto his toes so he can't get the elevation. Rennie really giving chase. And that's good running. That's something we haven't seen before from India. But there's a purpose about them now. They know exactly what they've got to do, which is why it was so important that they should bat second, in my opinion. Whatever they did is going to be a tough ask. Oh, clipped off his legs. The timing there is incredible. There is a man at mid-wicket. He's a tall man, but it just cleared him. And away it went. Well, it only just cleared him, but it cleared him with a lot of pace on it. It was beautifully timed, flipping it. I know he's a good cover driver. Everything depends on his inning. And this one's picking up uh, over mid wicket. There should be two, at least three in this one. Good feeling by John Rennie. There's aggressive running here. So Tendulkar is uh, doing a wonderful job. It's good cricket. He played it, didn't really time it as well as he wanted to. But good feeling by Rennie running about 30 yards to his left. And a great save there by Rennie. Beautifully put away. Not the greatest of deliveries from Evans. Two. Jadeja's going to go for it and we'll get there. That really is a magnificent century from Sachin Tendulkar. He really has played unbelievably. Brief look towards the heavens. The flags are flying all over the place.
Uh, he's out. He's gone. A little chip, and Evans, who has had such an influence throughout this competition, has struck again. And we've been saying it's been one of the great one-day innings. And now it's come to an end. I'm sure Dave Houghton will offer congratulations as he passes. He does. That's good to see. And Sachin Tendulkar going rather tamely in the end. Nothing tame about Evans' reaction. And what an extraordinary way for such a wonderful innings to end. 104 from just 97 deliveries. Robin Singh in the middle with AJ Jadeja. Well, a fine piece of fielding. And now we've got to wait for the third umpire. This will be very close indeed. Danny Becker referring, making the correct decision. And the batsman's home. Just home. That's well played by Jadeja. They should be able to scramble back for two. They can. The runner ball is not going to be enough. That's what they need. Of course, they cannot afford any dot balls at all. That's well struck from Robin Singh. That really is a very big hit indeed. It's a huge hit, and it's six. Well, every now and then, out of the blue, just comes a magnificent shot from Robin Singh. Happened in Pal. Let me start that again. That well helped India. Well hit. Yeah, the instructions came out, I think, uh, while you were away at the commercial. Give it some welly, get some wood on it anything but hit it and that's exactly what he did what a terrific strike that was well i don't think they have any choice they've got to take a risk or two today jack gets underneath it's high in the air there's no one out there it's going to be saved and in fact it's six that really is an absolutely remarkable stroke by jadeja well that really has turned the tables quite considerably for india and that is a big mental blow for them. What a shot. I've seen him do this before. I think he got under it a little bit at first. Sliced it a bit in the air, but there was nobody there. So nobody's ever going to get near it. Yeah, this is C8 uh, cricket ratings. And Vasim Akram is uh, leading with 83 points. And uh, Sachin Tendulkar is at number four. And then uh, Mongi is at number six. And uh, it's uh, up to 3rd to February 1997. Yeah, it is, you see. Run a ball, basically. Keep your cool. Last ball of the over. Certainly B. It's four. I was going to say it's one. It's four. So what an enormous over for India. After 37 overs, 19 runs off that over. And India are now 222 for four. They're just pushing for two, and Singh's coming back. He'll have to be quick, and he is safe. Applause from the Indian change room. The flags are flying high. This stage, Zimbabwe desperately need wickets. That's runs. David Houghton has to travel a long distance to cut it off. And they come back 4-3. Well, you might say a bit of good fortune for India, where they haven't got too much on this trip in South Africa. Three more runs. So, eight runs of 15 balls, required run rate. Pretty simple. That's it. And he's well caught by a young man wearing a blue shirt, but he's not caught by someone wearing a red shirt. That will go down as a four, and India have won a sensational victory, not only winning the match, but winning it in short enough time to ensure their place in the final. It's instead of Zimbabwe, India, who go to the final in Durban. The man of the match adjudicator here, because you don't have to look very far. There he is, the man, second on the top there, Sachin Tendulkar, 104 off 97 deliveries, played absolutely superbly, one of the best innings that I'll ever see. And as I said, the 11 and a half, 12,000 people that were at the ground today were treated to an absolute magician at work, and he steered them home.